Good morning. Welcome to BLC News. Our headlines for you today. Watch out. Kingdom Harvest Fund Raising Event Launch and Waymaker Walk Challenge starts November 21st. We will be discussing God's plan to build the tabernacle during the time of Moses. Some interesting facts about current state of tabernacle. And weather report. <laughs> Good evening everyone, you are watching BLC News and I'm Sanka. In today's news, we are going to cover about a very important topic about how God provided his plan and executed to build a tabernacle. As an introduction, I would like to explain why God had a plan to build a tabernacle. Because of the sin of the people, God was not able to dwell with the people and hence he asked Moses to build a tabernacle where people can do the sacrifice and connect with God. I have a question that I need to check with our guest. Let's check with our guest. They are also an author and research scholar. Hi, Sarah. Welcome to our channel. Hello, Sadika. Glad to be here today. Oh, so, let me ask you this. Everyone knows the instruction provided by God to build a tabernacle. But the question that comes in my mind is, how was the plan executed with all the details provided by God in the wilderness? That's a great question. You know, our God is a God of details. He gave Moses a very detailed plan about the construction of the tabernacle and also provided all the details to execute them. Moses did exactly what God said. He gathered all the Israelites and explained the plan God provided and asked the people to get all the materials that was needed. God provided two, two skilled architects to build the tabernacle. God opened the hearts of the people so that they started to bring more and more offering, and pretty soon they completed the tabernacle as God instructed. Our God not only provides instruction, but he will be there till the plan is executed successfully. What a powerful response. Thanks for sharing your insight. I agree, this is still applicable in our life. If God has a plan in our life or in our church, he will be there to help us till it is successfully implemented. Over to Dylan for some current stories. Thank you, Sonica. Look what COVID has done to us. I'm supposed to be live from Israel, but I'm stuck in my basement. I have interesting news to share. Today, we are going to dig into what really happened to the Ark of the Covenant and the Tabernacle. I was amazed to find out where the Tabernacle resides in today's world. It was in Shiloh. The Tabernacle resided in Shiloh for 369 years after the Israelites conquered the land. Lately, it was destroyed by the Philistines at the end of Eli's life. The Ark of the Covenant was in this tabernacle and then in King Solomon's temple. And then the Ark disappears from history after 597 BC when the Babylonians invaded Jerusalem and destroyed the temple. And the Ark of the Covenant still remains a mystery. Back to Sonica in the studio. Thank you, Dylan. Amazing news. Now it's time for the weather report. How is the weather out there, Jason? Looks like you're enjoying the fall weather. Yes, Sonica. It's a beautiful weather with the pile of leaves on the ground. I feel like playing, but I have business here. Today I'm going to brief about why leaves change color. Oh my gosh, Jason, what are you doing? You are on the BLC News. This is unbelievable. Now I know why they don't have kids reporting the weather in the news channel. Okay, that's all I have for tonight. See you next week. Till then, keep striding. Stay healthy and stay tuned for more BLC News updates.